Hello, my name's Mr Jones, I'm the Head of PE at Beckett Key School and today I'm going to talk to you about studying A-level PE with us here. So let's look at why we want to study the subject. A-level PE is a very diverse subject. Uh, not only will it give you a fantastic insight into a variety of different components associated with sport, it will also allow you to have a chance to perform the role as either a coach or performer in the non-examined assessment. It will also give you a wide-ranging knowledge into the how and why of physical activity and sport. So, a couple of questions then to pose for those that want to study A-level PE. So, consider why some people are faster than others, or perhaps you're more interested in personality and how personality affects your performance as a sportsman. Or maybe you wonder why performers take performance enhancing drugs and how technology can affect the performance in sport. Let's have a look at the program of study and what we're going to deliver over the two year cycle. Within year one you will study three units. So the units in question will be Applied Anatomy and Physiology, Skill Acquisition and Sport and Society. So let's have a look at what we're going to study in each one of those units. So within the Applied Anatomy and Physiology we will cover the areas of the cardiovascular system, the respiratory system and movement analysis. Within Skill Acquisition we will look at skill and ability and the classifications of skills. We'll look at theories of learning and we'll also look at reaction time and how that affects performance as well. Then lastly, within the first year, we're going to look at sport and society. So we're going to look at mob games and how they've evolved through time. We're going to look at the formation of the national governing bodies. And we're also going to look at the socialisation of sport in the 20th and 21st centuries. On to year two. So in year two, we will study a further three units. Now these units dovetail into the units studied in year one. So the exercise physiology and biomechanics follows on from the applied anatomy and physiology. The sports psychology follows on from the skill acquisition and sport and society and the role of technology follows on from the sport and society unit. So looking at these in detail now, the exercise physiology and biomechanics unit, we look at the importance of diet and nutrition for the performer. We also cover sports injuries and we look at methods of recovery. For the sports psychology, we look at aggression, motivation, group dynamics. And for sport and society and the role of technology, we look at how sport is funded in the UK, violence in sport, and how technology has influenced sport throughout the ages. Let's look at homework and classwork now. So homework will be issued on a week by week basis. Uh, for each area that they study, they will receive one piece of homework per week. Within class, they will do a variety of different tasks. We will do group work, individual tasks, and we will really test their resilience to be independent learners. After each topic, Students will take a test to identify areas of strengths and areas that they need to improve upon. Next we're going to talk about the non-examined assessment or coursework. Now the non-examined assessment is worth 30% of the student's overall grade. It comprises of two components, each worth 15%. Firstly we have the practical. Now the student can take the role of the performer or a coach. And secondly, they will write a piece of analysis of a performance, again, which is worth 15%. Students will complete the NEA in year two of the course when they have completed sufficient content for them to write a detailed account of a sports performance. There are a number of career paths that students can take once they've studied A-level PE. So I've got a list on the board behind me, but let's focus in on a few of them in particular. So we've got the role of a physiotherapist and that could be in conjunction with a sports organisation or club. We could also look at the role of a sports analyst, a fitness instructor or someone who is involved within sports administration within this country. Let's have a look now at preparation. 
So students wishing to study the subject should continue to train and play their chosen sport. It's important for their fitness and their skill levels so that they're able to demonstrate them to the best of their ability once they're examined within the A-level programme. They should also keep up to date with a range of sports topics and issues that impact upon sport and the whole community at large. There will be a number of questions, I'm sure, so let's move on to that now. Um, one of the most common questions is, what sports can I study at A-level? Now, there is an extensive list, and instead of um, me going through the whole list, what I'm going to do is I'm going to direct you to the AQA website. Uh, you need to look at A-level PE, and you need to look at specification number 7582. There you will find a complete list of the sports that are on offer, and I think it's best that you do that in your own time. There is no requirement for the students to buy a textbook. However, if they wish to do so, the one that I would recommend is the AQA A-Level PE, Year 1 and 2, and that's published by Hodder. Now, if you have any further questions, the email address is on the screen below. Any questions at beckettkeys.org, and I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you for listening.